Russia's biggest mosque has reopened in Moscow, with Middle East leaders attending the grand event. The heads of Palestine and Turkey also took time to chat with President Vladimir Putin as well. RT's Murad Gazdiev, he reports he was there. It was a jolly event, uh, helped along by the weather, which seems to have perked up. Uh, but they spent 10 years rebuilding it. They even had to divert an underground river because the foundations got so heavy. The end result is it has a capacity of 10,000 worshippers. And people from uh, all over the world gathered here in Moscow uh, to witness the opening ceremony. But it wasn't only them, it was dignitaries as well. The president of Turkey, Mr. Erdogan, uh, the uh, president of the Palestinian administration, Mr. Abbas. They uh, both had a word to say during the opening ceremony, and so did Vladimir Putin. He stressed that this new mosque has a role to play, that it must support and preach true Islamic values and to combat uh, more extreme reinterpretations that we're hearing from groups like the Islamic State. We can see what's happening in the Middle East now, where terrorists from the so-called Islamic State compromise the great world religion of Islam by killing people. Their ideology is based on lies, on the obvious distortion of Islam. They try to recruit supporters in our country as well. You could almost believe Mrs. Erdogan and Abbas came just for the opening ceremony. Alas, no, they both closeted themselves away uh, for a chat with the Russian leader. Uh, it's not hard to imagine what they were talking about. It's on everyone's mind, the Middle East burning, Syria and Iraq aflame and slowly being consumed by a growth, the Islamic State. And Moscow is actually becoming something of a headquarters when it comes to fighting uh, the Islamic State. Over the past month, we've had a parade of leaders, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, uh, the Jordanian King, the Crown Prince of the United Arab Emirates, the Egyptian President, all have come to Moscow. And uh, Russia is selling a plan that uh, there needs to be a radical change. Everybody needs to come together to a huge coalition against the Islamic State. When the idea that uh, was proposed initially it got a cool reception, but judging by this stream of leaders coming to Moscow, well, they seem to be coming around. <laughs>
فخامة الرئيس فلاديمير بوتين فخامة الرئيس أردوغان أصحاب الفخامة أصحاب الدولة والمعالي والسعادة سنلاري كابتماكتان ويا بو إنسانلاري دنيزلر ده ölüme ترك etmekten değil ülkelerin onlar için yeniden yaşanabilir yerler haline dönüştürmekten geçiyor Karan gласit Стремитесь опередить друг друга в добрых делах. Россия всегда была многонациональной и многоконфессиональной страной. Она так и создавалась во взаимообогащении культур, традиций, религий. Заключались и заключаются до сих пор и своеобразие, и сила нашей общей родины России. Ha, 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 ha.